Columbia police made an arrest in the shooting at the VFW Post last month. Good evening, Ben Missouri. I'm Paula Wayne. And I'm Rosh. Columbia police are investigating a single vehicle crash that sent a woman to the hospital. That crash happened around 920 last night in Brown Station Road between Gene Drive and Highway 63 in Northeast Columbia. Police say the woman was a, quote, occupant of the car, but would not say if she was the driver. They also wouldn't say if she was the only person in the vehicle. KOMU 8 News also saw a Columbia Water and Light crew speaking with police after the accident and repairing a power pole. But workers would not say if their presence was related to the crash. Police did not believe alcohol was a factor in the wreck. Columbia police also arrested a man in response to a shooting at the range line and business loop intersection. You see it marked on that map right there. Police say they arrested Stephen Shelton outside Club Vogue after a witness identified his car. Police found a gun in the car with shells they say matched the ones found at the scene. No injuries or property damage were reported. Have you ever wondered just how safe you are traveling next to semi trucks on the highway? One local woman says trucks can be quite dangerous. Lisa Shrum is in Washington, D.C. tonight where she'll join dozens of crash victims at a Truck Safety Coalition conference. Shrum started volunteering with the coalition after she lost both her mom and stepdad to a truck crash nine years ago. She says Congress wants to increase the weight of these trucks by more than 10,000 pounds and the length by about 10 feet. She says this does not make her feel safe. She says the conference gives them the opportunity to share their concerns with members of Congress. The war of words between Republican presidential hopefuls Donald Trump and Jeb Bush has reignited and Democrats get ready to face a potential new challenger. NBC's Chris Pallone has the story. Turning our attention to the weather, it definitely feels like it is getting colder out there. Let's send it over to Sydney for a look at your live Doppler 8 first alert forecast. And right now you're taking a live look over downtown Columbia on this Saturday night. It's 1016 and this is KOMU 8 News at 10, coverage you can count on. The Kansas City Royals played a crucial game two in Kauffman Stadium today, and KOMU 8 News was there. Might be able to break out the shorts for one last time. Yes. I'm looking forward to that. Cool. Exactly, for sure. Thanks, Sydney. The Tigers are looking to turn their season back in the right direction. But would Georgia crush that dream? This is KOMU 8 News at 10. Coverage you can count on. Well, you better watch out. The big man in red is taking a little time out from preparing for the holidays to hold office. You heard that right. Santa Claus ran for North Pole City Council in Alaska. He won in a landslide, beating out all the other write-in candidates in the election. Santa will be <laughs> sworn into office on Monday. <laughs> no, definitely going to be a nice one out yes. there starting next weekend. Sure. How about the Royals? How about yeah, the Royals yes. look good in zoo? <laughs> Maybe not quite yeah. as much. Yeah. All right. Well, that is our time for now. Thanks so much for joining us. Saturday Night Live is coming up next. Have a great night.